Tiger Lily Squad, what's poppin'? 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 What's hey? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's hey? Hey? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Tiger Lily Squad. How you living? How you breathing? How you feeling? It's your girl, <laughs> Essence O'Shea. What's up, Tiger Lily Squad? Yo, I'm so into athletic wear. I low key think I should like launch an athletic, uh, athletic wear business because I am the most comfortable and I low key feel the most sexy in athletic wear. Like I could walk around in sweats and leggings and like a crop top or like some gym shorts and and I just be living the dream. But anyways, in this video, uh, we will be talking about the five things that will damage your starter locks. Um, I've gotten a few questions about this while I had my first set and I've been mulling this over um, with the second set and I just wanted to jump on and talk to you guys about this so the first thing that i would say is that the products that you use especially the ones that claim they cater to people with locks and none of their stuff has anything to do with what that will help us or benefit us in any way um so be really mindful of the things that you do when i say minimal minimal products is key the more natural, the more just no fluff, it will just like help your hair flourish the most. Like cactus, aloe, um, rose water, uh, just regular water, vitamin E, things like that's just natural things. I'm telling y'all, will do your locks wonders. You do not have to go out there and buy all the products in the world. You don't have to do any of that stuff. Focus. If anything, you could sit, go ahead and buy some of my products. Um, they're all natural or all, or all organic, and it's not just for people with locks. High key is for anyone with natural hair. Number two would be tight styles and retwisting too often. Now. You guys already know how I feel when it comes to more mature locks, but especially in starter locks, you wanna be really careful with how tight your styles is, mainly because of your edges, that's one. You don't wanna be out here looking crazy in these streets. But two, um, it can thin out your locks before you even had a chance to get that thickness that you may require. Or you, you may not want the thickness and this will be fine, but not really because even if you don't want the thickness we're thinking about breakage because you're binding it so tightly i can't see how that would be beneficial for your hair in any capacity right number three number three would be bleaching your hair i have never bleached my hair i have colored my hair for certain but i have never bleached my hair um bleach is just really stripping could you imagine like that's what you do to clean your tub and your sink after you wash chicken and stuff like that fam and then you go put that in your hair i can't imagine i don't know anybody who has actually bleached their hair and their hair is healthy and not having any issues if you know some people please send them my way so i could just pick at their air so they could tell me how they even got that accomplished because that is a miracle do not bleach your hair don't do it shay said number four is simple and easy is just sleeping without wrapping your hair at night um unless it's like on a silk pillowcase but i feel like after a while it'll get like wear and tear it won't be as beneficial as it once was the first six months that's just my opinion but i feel i that's why i say always just 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 wrap your hair just take that extra step at night even if you don't want to spray it down or anything just wrap it sorry y'all my allergies just wrap it and call it a day do not go to sleep without wrapping your hair the frizz balls that you might contract 
by whatever might be laying on your bed with everything else you might roll on it you just don't know just and even not wrapping your hair at night just like throughout the day if you're not doing nothing if you're just chilling in your house just wrap your hair because you see my couch this is uh cotton and all kind of other type of fabrics me leaning on this will cause um what you call them thing fuzz balls in my hair and stuff like this so sometimes i sit down on the couch and i'll be like and i'll be whoop get up <coughs> you sleepy head haul your hiney out of bed i'm sorry just wrap your hair last but not least and it's something that i did you guys know that i and i was honest about this because i did it in june i kind of neglected my hair because i was so life gets so busy we have so much stuff that we have to do that the last thing you're thinking about is your hair especially if you have locks you just let it do its thing and then you just neglect it and you don't moisturize it you don't take care of it you don't wrap it down you don't get it retwist you don't get it washed you don't do nothing because just life is busy don't do that you don't do that don't neglect your hair it's your little babies it's your little baby take care of it and it'll take care of you i'm just saying if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe i hope you learn some things if you have any other things that might help you damage your starter locks from your experience please put it down in the comments below and i will talk to y'all later see you later sorry get lelays uh, crash course let me hide the money in the dashboard Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the Porsche? Goofy with the